okay now I will be uh, setting up this uh, second uh, machine uh, which is the 7810 and I put the USB uh, drive uh, to boot the windows and I've plugged in the power cord the network cord and the keyboard and the mouse so just fire up the computer so remember I told you these computers they have a slow booting time so the computer have booted and I am going to press the F12 from the keyboard so it shows uh, this menu and I am going to go to the BIOS uh, setup and click on the BIOS setup and first things first is that I am going to load everything to default click OK and I'm going to press exit now once again I am going to go into the BIOS setup and what we might want to be setting is you know like first uh, you can have a look at the uh, machine specification and the amount of memory uh, this is DDR4 and the CPU uh, dual processor Dion, uh, uh, it has dual Xeon processors installed in them so you have uh, 2673v3 2.4 and uh, the board sequence we want to be uh, setting the legacy uh, because uh, remember we've uh, what I've told you that uh, I have made the USB uh, drive which was uh, uh, MBR not GPT so the legacy ROM needs to be enabled as well and UEFI path security probably I'm going to leave at as it is and I will not be using any of the setup not smart reporting not anything hard drive and nothing thunderbolt you might want to enable so i will be enabling this and security security nothing to do here uh, boot option secure boot uh, you want to be disabling the secure boot because otherwise otherwise it will not be uh, booting up and you want to be using all cores when it comes to multi-core and C state uh, enable mm. Turbo boost, yes, definitely you want to be enabling and hyper threading that is enabled by default. Now, uh, I will be leaving everything. Uh, this is probably related to the uh, Noma node. Uh, I will try to read this as. Uh, uh, much as possible and try to set it up if I found some useful information regarding this particular system Dell RMT enabled power management AC power off uh, and fan speed should be set to auto auto and mm, that's 
enable uh, yes we do want to be uh, we could you know leave it off I uh, yes I will turn it off okay that's it so I will hit apply the keyboard error detection and the that's it I think uh, uh, this was probably the setup that we vt for IO is it enabled yes yes maintenance we don't want any maintenance bios events advanced SPM auto auto so that's it uh, most probably hopefully it none of it uh, was cut off in the video uh, you can refer to the uh, previous one so the BIOS setup uh, is probably the same so basically what we want to be going is you know enable the uh, uh, hyper threading and turbo boost and uh, virtualization these are the three things three or four things that you want to be enabling for uh, any of the machine that you want to be setting up and uh, because uh, otherwise you will not get the full uh, uh, threads in the uh, rendering like V-Ray or Corona or uh, Arnold render engine or something like that uh, which uses the CPU uh, mainly for the render so up we go to booting the windows